up? It's been about one week since I've been home. It's Wednesday, so yeah, that's one week. And yeah, I've just been relaxing. I've been doing some stuff for my Instagram, for my blog, and just relaxing. I've also just submitted my visa paperwork to the embassy in Houston. I don't know why I'm so nervous about it. I feel like, I don't know, for some reason, like, I guess because it's a year visa rather than, like, just to go to the country and then, like, get a stamp, that I'm nervous because, like, I don't know, I guess it is a big deal. And I had this, like, salt scrub on my face that I did not wipe off very good. <laughs> Embarrassing. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I've been, like, really nervous. I don't know why I feel like my visa might get denied. I shouldn't think like that. But for some reason, I'm just like, oh, my God, what if I have, like, a warrant that I didn't know about and they deny me and I can't go? And uh, I need to stay positive. I need to stay positive and just pray that my stuff comes comes back clear and there's no further complications and yeah and maybe I'll make a separate video about like getting a visa in Indonesia I don't want to do it right now because one I haven't told anybody that I'm moving to Indonesia and two because I'm not sure my stuff is going to go through so let me make sure I have all my ducks in a row before I try to tell anybody else how to do it one week later guys I finally got my visa! I'm so excited. FedEx just dropped it off and my visa was approved. I don't know why I wouldn't have been, but I was kind of like nervous about it. I've never applied for something like this, so I'm officially a one-year resident of Indonesia! Yay! I'm so happy and it looks so cool. Like, I have a visa to Indonesia for one year oh my goodness is this it yep this is it here's my visa i don't think you can see anything on there but yay i'm so excited oh my god and now we only have like 29 days 29 day countdown until i go to bali <sighs> yeah i'm so excited three weeks later i have like maybe less than a week here in el paso before i go to california and then catch my flight to Bali and yeah that'll be the beginning of what's to come so yeah I'm just gonna pretty much tell you guys how I'm feeling right now I'm starting to feel like everything is getting like really real like down to the wire because now I'm starting to have to pack and like think about the things that I need to take with me for the next year and I'm thinking about like until the last couple of days I'll be with my mom in El Paso and I'm excited. Um, I can't lie, I'm really excited. But it also makes me wonder like what's really, really ahead. Like, I know it all won't be easy, but I know there'll be a lot of like, there'll be a lot of like, I don't know, good times ahead. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna meet some amazing people and I'm gonna really enjoy the job that I'm gonna be doing there, so. Yeah, really, that's just how I'm feeling about it. I'm not really scared or anything. I got my visa, and that's pretty exciting. I think I showed that in, like, the last clip or something. But, yeah. Honestly, the only stressful thing about this process is packing. Because I don't want to forget anything. Honestly, why do these numbers keep calling me? No one calls me. Ignore. But... Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. If you have any questions about like how I kind of started the process of moving abroad or how I, I don't know, any questions you have about teaching abroad, traveling abroad, getting a visa for another country, um, being a citizen of another country. Let me rephrase that. Getting a visa for another country while being a citizen of another country because I'm not a citizen of Indonesia. Not yet anyway. But yeah, if you have any questions like that, let me know in the comments and I'll try to address them as best as I can. But yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, honestly, it's starting to get cold here. As you can see, I have a jacket on right now and I'm not a fan. So I need to hurry up and get to Bali so that I can enjoy some sun and some tropical weather and short sleeves and all that good stuff again. <sighs> but yeah, so um, what you'll see guys in the next couple videos is me flying to Vegas, 
from Vegas, driving to California, meeting up with my dad who lives in California, and then driving to San Francisco, because that's where I fly out. My flight um, to Bali from San Francisco was only 250. But keep in mind, that's only one way. So yeah, but that's a pretty good deal. So if you're considering going to Bali from the United States, fly from California because you'll find the cheapest flights out of there. Although this flight is like 48 hours. I had to spend some time in China. So maybe that's why the price was so cheap, but I think it's kind of a sweet deal because I get to see two countries on the same flight. So yeah. Alrighty guys, I am on my way to World Market to go get a gift for someone and then I'm gonna go to happy hour with, with my mom and yeah. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Maybe I'll show you guys where I'm at my packing and thanks for listening to my rant. See ya.